Art Sibrel doesn't dispute that Armstrong and the others did actually make it into space. But he claims they only went up a few hundred miles into Earth orbit. According to him, they never even got close to making the quarter of a million mile trip to the moon. And he says that 30 years after the landings, he unearthed a damning piece of evidence that proves the conspiracy is true. It says, real big on the screen, do not show to the public. Hit play from the top. And the first thing we hear is NASA saying that the TV picture looks great. According to NASA, these pictures were taken when Apollo 11 was more than 100,000 miles from Earth. At that distance, there is a long delay in communication because radio waves must cross the vast expanse between the capsule and mission control. There's exactly four seconds of dead air. Then we hear a third party that's not NASA and not Neil Armstrong say, talk. And then Neil Armstrong starts speaking. So apparently he had a secret earpiece in and someone from the CIA or whoever was counting off on a stopwatch. So NASA asked a question, they counted off exactly four seconds and then we heard talk. And then he starts speaking. In other words, Sibrel believes NASA faked a four second radio delay to make it seem like Armstrong was halfway to the moon. About on the it's an astonishing claim. Okay, but Sibrel right. and many like him say there is even more proof right there in the iconic images of the mission. I started looking at the pictures. I started questioning them because he's in shadow. Why is there so much light? The alleged scenes on the moon were in fact shot with electrical light rather than sunlight. That's what I noticed. Marcus Allen sees another problem in the beautiful images captured by the astronauts. The Hasselblad camera being used on the moon did not have a viewfinder because they took the mirror out. You had to focus it yourself, you had to set the aperture yourself, you had to set the shutter speed yourself, while wearing armored gauntlets through which you couldn't actually feel anything. So with all those restrictions on your movement and your operation of the camera, some of the most iconic photographs of the 20th century were produced. I don't believe it. 